Okay, this is Drew, and <clears throat> what we're looking at here is three um, bar stools converted to shop stools. And you can see the middle one is missing a rung, and there's probably a lot of uh, stools like this that are missing rungs in the country. <laughs> because, you know, they're, 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 these things aren't made to put any weight on. You know, you just kind of, they're there to hold the stool together. And a lot of people use them to rest their feet. But, you know, as you shift your weight into stool, sometimes you put weight on these rungs and you break them out. Now, I can't claim that I broke this one, but uh, it got broke somehow back when it was a bar stool or in a basement of an old house. <laughs> and these aren't the, the greatest design because they're not very deep. You can't sit in them very deep. Um, so your legs come out really far. And when your feet are on the rungs, they're on the rungs at a pretty good angle. So now, we'll take a look at my uh, messy shop. <laughs> and see what I've done with some more bar stools. So, I don't really think that I need to give uh, directions on how to make these. They're just, you know, it's just an idea. So, if you, you know, if you uh, want to give your feet a rest, I mean, my feet kind of, <laughs> my feet were sore, you know, a, a day after I spent two days working on uh, converting shop lights. And I have videos up there for that, but I converted uh, some halogen lights to uh, CFL, and then I converted some fluorescent lights to LEDs. And now I have a very bright shop, as you can see. Um, and these are the CFL lights that you're looking at here that are lighting up this area. So, you know, I spent a lot of time at my workbench here. And uh, it, uh, it made my feet sore, the arches. So you have a choice of, you know, wearing uh, steel shank shoes or... Um, you know, wearing lightweight boots, which I prefer. You can stand in them all day and walk around on them. They're not heavy to drag around. But then your feet get sore on rungs. So what I decided to do is make platforms to uh, foot rest, basically, to, you know, rest my feet on. So this first one here is uh, one of the small shop stools, and it's at 90 degrees. No, I'm sorry. It's at, uh, um, eight, eight. It's at 80 degrees. No, I'm sorry, it's at 70 degrees. <laughs> so, it's 20 degrees down. <laughs> Math major here. <laughs> Wouldn't know I'm an engineer. And the second one is uh, 90 degrees, just flat. And I made these kind of differently. Um, just flowing around different ways to make them. Uh, if you, you know, you can put a pretty good size uh, rest in there at 90 degrees. But once you start tipping it down, there's not a whole lot of room for a rest. So I decided to uh, put the rest in the middle and have the, uh, the wood cut at an angle. Um, so the second one here is a small workbench or a small stool at 90 degrees. And then we have a large stool, which is uh, tilted down 30 degrees. So this is the one I use the most. Uh, for me, it's comfortable. If you're over six feet tall, then, or, you know, in that vicinity. And these, you know, these shops, I like these stools here because they're originally bar stools too, but they're very heavy and oak. And, um, well, they're oak and, uh, I don't know what, I think it's poplar. It was painted white. I painted it. My standard shop color is almond <laughs> um so you know just about all my cabinets and everything in the shop are painted almond just for keep the shop a little brighter so this one i really like it's uh, the way i found this angle i'll go over it with some photos but i basically just put my feet at rest and then you know it then shot the, the lens and you know I found out that my feet were most comfortable when they're down 30 degrees and most of that's because 
you know, if you're a bigger guy and your, your legs come out, your knees come out here and your, your feet are going back at an angle, then the natural angle for me is 30 degrees. So, and the 20 degree one feels good too. And then this last one is one of the large shop stools again at a 90 degree angle. And um, what I used here is basically scrap wood. This was just a uh, Bruce flooring um, oak. And, uh, you know, I had, I had some odds and ends setting around and, I, you know, I can easily do those other three stools out there. I have a, quite a bit of Bruce flooring left. And it was originally from my kitchen, so it's really high quality stuff. Um, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to trim these out or not. I might, you know, later for something to do. But for right now, you can see the edges. Um, so it's basically, you know, scrap wood. And then I use this uh, tread tape. Um, and I almost used it up. There's only a little bit left. And I'll show you what the roll looks like. So... So one of these rolls was enough to do uh, four stools, but I got three rolls. So this is just a, you know, it's like heavy duty sandpaper almost. You know, it's a, just a anti-slip safety, safety tape. So that worked out pretty good. You know, a lot of like this little utility stool I have has some really rough stuff on the bottom there. It's been around for ages. But, you know, I'm happy with these. They uh, give me some variety. So I usually keep one large stool at the drill press and one at the workbench here. Even though a lot, most of the time when you're working at the workbench, you know, you're planing something. You, you don't, you're not sitting down in the shop stool. I'm kind of in a, you know, anti-sanding mode because my dust collection has been removed from the shop for um, I'll put it back in when I'm done arranging the shop and building the new room. But, you know, you don't want to sit down on a shop bench when you're uh, or on a on a stool, shop stool, when you're working, you know, when you're planing or something like that or scraping. Um, but, you know, if you're just working here, I use the same workbench to work on converting shop lights. You can see my soldering stuff is still here. And, a Japanese plane I'm arguing with right now <laughs> it's, it's giving me a hard time tuning it so um, you know I keep the two big ones in this main shop area and then the two small ones I'll keep out by their workbenches in the finishing area so they're just I made them with a variety of angles because you know I, I I'm not sure I could have made them all up to 30 degrees probably and I'd be happy. So for visitors, you don't know what you're going to run into if you have, uh, you know, girlfriends. You know, I just wanted to make a variety. Uh, the two big ones for me, you know, flat for when I'm in the mood for flat. And if my ankles get sore, then I'll use the one that's 30 degrees down. And that way my ankles are basically at 90 degrees. So I just wanted to share this with you. It's just, you know, just an idea that I'm uh, working on dust collection. Um, well, I'm actually working on drywall. <laughs> drywall first. Well, electricity first. <laughs> and then drywall and then painting the, you know, I need to float the other room and uh, paint it and then paint the floor. As you can see, I don't have casters on anything. All of my uh, tools uh, ride on uh, Teflon, the slipperiest stuff on earth. So instead of paying big bucks for... Uh, iron steel wheels that ruin your floors I paint my floors and slide the tools around on on Teflon works out pretty good for me it always has even big beasts like the uh, like the big bandsaw over there is glides on Teflon base that was a challenging thing to do I'm gonna have to make a video on that too so that's about it um, you might find that, you know, having a variety of places to sit, you know, the seats are all still, you know, shop stool <laughs> seats. Um, but the, the, the platforms down here, the footrests, help, you know, take some of the weight off your butt. You know, if you're, uh, if you're sitting on a regular stool with a 
small rung. Um, you're, you're avoiding putting some weight on it. You might be sitting back further. And this way, at least your feet are, you know, resting on something flat. So your feet are not going to get fatigued when you're basically using your feet to take some weight off your butt and your legs. So I haven't tested these for hours yet, but I have used a 30 degree one for a couple hours and it was nice. No soreness anywhere. So just wanted to share this with you. Appreciate you watching. Bye. Okay, since I have my entire shop drawn in SketchUp, it's easy for me to just pull up a couple of shop stools and start playing around with some uh, footrest designs. That's what I'm doing here. And then this is determining what angle to put the footrest at with a protractor and a level, and I found that 30 degrees is what I'm pretty happy at. And here's uh, clamping together some Bruce flooring. It tends to uh, curve if you just clamp it together, so there's 2x4 backing here to, to coerce it into being straight. And here's a front brace that I cut at 30 degrees. And then uh, planed it. Um, I, I plane instead of sanding all the time. And here's the uh, 30 degree down footrest. So it's uh, clamped into place just to see what it looks like. And I have it resting on the rung and the uh, front brace, the cross brace. Uh, cross, I have it put up there with a web clamp, in this case, <laughs> to screw the first screws in. And here's the screws going across to just the brace, and then also added three screws in the back to go into the rung. And here it is uh, finished with some of the uh, you know, anti-slip tape, and there you can see the tape on the stool. This is just stair tread, you know, tape to keep you from falling on, you know, safety tape. It's under eBay on a bunch of different names. So that's the first one, big shop stool done. Here's a small shop stool at 90 degrees. And, you know, put the uh, Bruce flooring footrest with the uh, friction tape on it. So now I've got two done, one at 90 and one at 30 degrees down. 60 however you want to look at it and here I'm working with the second large shop stool and making some 90 degree uh, wedges to put the uh, the footrest on so now there's three of them done it doesn't take very long to do these and this is the last one 20 degree down or 70 degrees um, you can see my sawdust collection system is just I've removed everything this is just my shop vac that I use for cleaning the shop and here's some more boost flooring and you know two by fours to keep it flat and then uh, clamping it overnight so this really doesn't take very long it only takes like an hour you know you know you got to clamp it overnight but it only takes like an hour to, for to do each tool so there it's clamped up and again you know planed it off for gluing it together and I cut the notches out with these I like using Japanese saws when, you know, for most of my sawing stuff. And here I had to re-drill the metal hole here so it goes into a rung a little bit better. I use one inch drywall screws in the back and two inch in the front. And this is a little veneer roller of my brother's, I think. And uh, that's how much tape I had left <laughs> when I did four of these. Not very much left. So anyways, now I have two bar stools, uh, a small one and a big one at 90 degrees, and then a big one at 30 degrees down, and a small one at 20 degrees down. And I'm still debating what I like the most. You know, it's just nice to be able to change your feeding, your foot position. Um, you know, it doesn't, you know, I think I like the 30 degree down one the best. And, you know, that treading makes it so you don't slip off the footrest. You're not going to do that anyway because your feet are actually hitting the rest at uh, 90 degrees so it's it's worked out pretty good now here's uh, three more ball, bar stools that I have to do with very very thin rungs and um, I'm gonna come up with something a little bit different for these because even the legs are pretty thin but you know these are just from an old house 